wild cards, all right? But you do have to memorize this one, all right? Uh, I don't have to find it, because the wild cards are going to tell me a little bit about the card that Noel picked, all right? <laughs> He's just going, what was that move? <laughs> Here we go. Um, <laughs> Uh, for instance, uh, no. Well, the first card tells me that you picked uh, a black card. Okay. Uh, the first, the second card tells me you picked a spade. All right. The third card tells me you picked a seven. Uh, the last card tells me that you picked a seven. What was your card? That was it. Seven. Yes. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> to recap, <clears throat> I know your card was a black card. Right. I know it was a spade. I know it was a seven. In fact, I know it was the seven of spades. All right. Do you know what these three, uh, these four cards don't tell me? how they change to the four aces. See, there's the four aces. Now, of course, if these are the four aces, your card must be over here in my pocket, the old seven of spades. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys, I'll show you how that works. There's one, two, three, four, five cards. When you're not looking, I take that seven of spades and I put it in my pocket, okay? That leaves me with one, two, three, four cards. If I just give them a little press, now I've got the seven of spades, just like that. Mm -hmm. Of course, in my pocket are the uh, one, wait a minute, there's number two, there's number three, there's number four, four, Aces in different pockets. You can't see a thing. He didn't move. <laughs> use the pen, Adrian. Use the pen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm broken. Just reach inside. I hope you find the missing king of spades up the sleeve. You should have music to say. Can he improvise something? <laughs> Uh, anything you'd like to see. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, happy birthday? Yeah! and somebody's come along and shaved a letter into the side of each mountain goat. There might be more mountain goats depending on your word. I'm not really sure. And then all of a sudden they've released them from a pen and the mountain goats are frolicking down the mountain thing and then they're running into a little forest and they're dancing around and they're all singing a little song and the song has got only one word in it, Mike. One word, repeated all the way. That's not the word, is it? Fair enough. And then Bambi comes along. You remember Bambi with the mother and the bang and then the mother? Yeah. You remember that, Mike? She comes running into the forest cheering. She's got a little sign. And on that sign is another... No, that's not the word either. So then she falls over, she cuts her knee and then the blood kind of like spools on the ground and then the mountain goats, well they're forest goats now because they're in a forest. They're dancing around on the, on the blood and then they're kind of like tracing shapes in a kind of like weird contemporary movement style fashion all over the floor and then the camera pans up to the top. That's your word. There we go. I can see it there. Excellent. Anyway. Um, oh, I want to try this really quick. I've been working on a card vanish and you guys are all magicians so I figure, figure this is the perfect place to, to try this out. It's one of those things I practice alone by myself a lot and I think it looks alright but I, I want your input. So tell me what you think. Here's the vanish. <laughs> this this one right here? Is that, is that fair? Yeah. I'm just going to lay this on the table here. Perfect. Okay. Now, what you just witnessed was an illusion of choice. I mean, you could have chosen any card, but in, in fact, it really didn't matter. Again, you formed an opinion about this deck that it's a blue deck of cards, but um, no, this deck hasn't even been printed yet. It actually didn't matter what card you selected. <laughs> or did it? Because I did place one printed card in the deck before I got here. And luckily you got it, my lucky card, the seven of spades. Give a hand, please. How long have you been together? 
Seven years. Seven years. That's like one mirror, isn't it? Seven years. <laughs> going to do a few shuffles. I've actually learnt a few false, shuff false shuffles. Uh, here's one this. This is the... Uh, that's the Derek Delgado false shuffle. Looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? Hey. Um, here's another one. Here's another one. That's Ben Earl's false shuffle. I'll do that one as well. <laughs> you haven't got a clue, have you? Uh, I'm Chris Mayhew. Uh, uh, we're going to use a five pounds. If I take the five, he can actually get the five and have the five change it to a ten. Just like that. Take the ten and have the ten change into a 20, just like so. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> 